Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you on how I make gyoza. Gyoza is dumplings and mostly Chinese dumplings are steamed or fried but with gyoza it's both. Yeah, it's fried and then steamed right after um, frying the bottom of the gyoza. Gyoza is an appetizer. It is actually a Japanese recipe. So if you want to watch more of this kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe right down there. Click that red button. And also you may click the bell button so that you will be notified every time I post new videos. And I hope you will like this out. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get started. I will be using 300 grams of ground pork. You may also use be ground beef if you like. And this is half of a head of a chopped cabbage, half of white onions chopped, two cloves of minced garlic one small ginger grated this is grated this is small amount of pepper and salt to taste and then we have a dumpling wrap I use this kind of wrap dumpling or gyoza wrap Soy sauce, I use the soy sauce for this recipe, and then sesame oil. Alright, first, we are going to mix the pork here in the cabbage. We will just use the same mixing bowl. So this is just a very easy recipe. You just have to mix everything until the ingredients are well incorporated. So. Okay, I already have here my meat. So let's just let's just mix first the cabbage and the meat all together. So later on, we are going to mix the onions. You may use your hands. Okay. So if you think that the meat and the cabbage are already mixed, you may now add the onions, garlic, and the ginger. So let's mix again. Okay. So I think. Oh. I think I have used a lot of cabbage for this one, but it's fine. Vegetables is a good and healthy food to consume, so no worries. After that, we can now add our salt and pepper. Okay, I'm adding now the salt and pepper in here. Soy sauce. Not so plenty though, so just a small amount. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna use like tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon is enough. Okay, so sesame oil of about a one tablespoon. To prepare the gyoza, one spoon of filling in the center of the wrapper, then wet with water half of the edge of the gyoza. Before sealing it completely, you need to make a pleat um, in front of the gyoza as shown. Okay, and then that's the time, pleat and then seal. So in front of gyoza, there are pleats like that before you are going to press it on the another ham or another side of the gyoza. And now to cook, you need to heat under medium low, a small amount of cooking oil. And then put the gyoza and then let it sit there to fry. Now, check if the bottom is already fried or brown, like that. So, once it's already looks like that, kind of brownish color, it's now time to steam the gyoza. You will just need a very small amount of water, and then just pour it all over the pan. Cover the pan after putting the water until it is fully cooked. You will know it is done when the water is already done. Okay guys, so I already cooked my gyoza here. Mm, smells so good and looks so yummy. And I already have here my dipping sauce prepared so it's just a sesame oil with light soy sauce and with a crushed garlic on it so now is the time to taste I have my chopsticks ready so now you know gyoza is a dumpling but it is um, fried at the bottom and then steamed afterwards until it's cooked so it looks so shiny, soft, but it looks like crispy at the bottom. So I'm gonna dip this here in my yummy soy sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. Mm. 
so delicious. It's crunchy, but not hard. Soft to chew. Um, I don't feel the vegetables in it. Soft and crunchy. That's it. Not so salty, but if you like salty foods, you can add a little bit more of salt or soy sauce. Mmm. Yummy. I hope you could. <laughs> I hope you could hear the sound on my, on my mouth. It's really crunchy, but it's soft. Mm -hmm. Ginger is not so ever overwhelming. Perfect. So guys, that's our easy recipe for gyoza. Yeah. You can make this ahead of time and then once you wrap all the gyoza, you can just put it inside your fridge and cook it as soon as you need it. And I hope this I hope this recipe will help you out and add this on your menu, especially for baons for the kids and your husbands. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you will try this out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.